And we have with us the new University of Minnesota head football coach, Jerry Kill. And, Coach, it's been a whirlwind. MAC championship game on Friday, team banquet down in DeKalb for your Huskies. And here on the University of Minnesota campus this morning, already met with the Golden Gophers. Whirlwind kind of a few days there. No, no question. It's been a, a process of ups and downs and, and excitement, enthusiasm. And, and we're so happy to be here at the University of Minnesota, my wife and I. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a whirlwind, but a good one. What uh, Give our fans a little insight in terms of style of play. What kind of football team will you field uh, when, it, when, when you guys hit the field? Well, you know, it, it will take time. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those things you've got to see what we have. But I know what we want to be, and we want to be a team that uh, works hard, uh, you know, offensively, be a team that's very multiple. And, and I believe you have to run the ball. There's no question about that, certainly in the elements. Uh, but you also have to have some playmakers. We're going to build a football team on speed. Uh, great defense, aggressive in the kicking game, very similar to the team that uh, uh, we had at Northern Illinois, and that's kind of our philosophy. But uh, we want to have a football team that reflects uh, uh, the state of Minnesota. And, and, uh, and, and I, I look at the Midwest, a hard-nosed, tough, disciplined football team that uh, doesn't beat themselves and uh, is exciting to come watch. You are familiar somewhat with uh, the university. You played a game here as a Northern Illinois coach and beat the Golden Gophers in September. Uh, familiar with the roster a little bit. Uh, what what uh, enticed you here to uh, to want to take this challenge on? Well, the biggest thing, I, you, you look at it, and certainly when I came here to play, and the first thing I said is, wow, I said, they, they made a commitment here. Look at this stadium. And, and uh, you know, you, you don't do things like that unless there's a commitment. And, uh, you know, I, I, from an outsider looking in and, and uh, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like things are a good fit for certain people. And I felt, you know, at this time, it's a tremendous fit for me. Uh, it's a great university, uh, a great place to get an education, uh, a great state. I'm a Midwest person. Uh, so I, I just think it's perfect timing uh, for this job. And sometimes timing's not so good for jobs, but this is great timing. And uh, I look forward to the challenge. How much were you able to, as this thing was unfolding pretty quickly, to, to uh, research and investigate what kind of team will I be inheriting here if I take that job, and what, what do you know of the current roster? Not much time. <laughs> I, I haven't had a whole lot of time because, you know, I'd concentrated, and, and, uh, and then, you know, I got a call and, and went from Joel and the president, and that, that was Saturday, <laughs> and then boom. So, uh, you know, I certainly didn't plan on any, any of this. So it's one of those things where I know it from playing, the roster and those kind of things, but I never judge things too quickly. The new coaching staff, some guys might get more motivated, some may not be as motivated. I think you judge things through a, t a period of time, and we'll know a lot more about our football team as I get to know them, and uh, you know, over the weeks here and through spring ball and those things. And I think I'll be able to give a really fair evaluation of where we're at and what we need to do and where we need to go. You've won at every level. You uh, were a high school state championship winning coach in the state of Missouri. You were an offensive coordinator for a Division II national championship team, Division II conference championships as a head coach, 1AA championships as a head coach, and, uh, and Division I uh, bowl games and conference championships. What is the key to that consistency? You've turned a couple of programs around. This will be a turnaround situation. Is there something along the way that, uh, that has uh, been constant with that? Well, I've been forced since, you know, I. I got my start through Dennis Franchoni, who was able to turn some programs around. So I learned a lot of things from Coach Fran. But I think the biggest thing is, is, that, <clears throat> is that the continuity of we, we've had staff-wise, whatever staff we had at the place I was at, they didn't get up and leave. And we've stayed together. I don't believe you can have revolving doors. Those kids got to get comfortable. Uh, I think we recruited players to what we do. We didn't worry, well, we got to have a five-star kid. For we recruited players that fit into the system. Uh, you got to have role players. You got to have great athletes, etc. But it's got to be good chemistry. I think we did a great job of recruiting what we wanted, uh, and uh, I think we 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 did a good job of of evaluating uh, how kids are going to succeed there. And so it's all about personnel, in my opinion, and, and, uh, and then motivating that personnel to get the best out of them. And we've just been fortunate, you know, and very, been very blessed. A lot of your coaching staff has stayed with you throughout many of your stops. Too soon to know kind of how your staff will unfold here? It, it is a little bit because I don't know exactly with 
uh, Northern playing in a bowl game, and, and, and I don't know if they'll name one of our guys a head coach. I certainly hope they do. Uh, they, they certainly deserve it. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Uh, the big thing is we'll do what's best for the University of Minnesota, put our best team together. It's going to be loyal, and we know each other, and, and, and there's good coaches here that I, I've known or, or we'll get to know. So we'll put the best group together uh, to do what's best. Tell us about your family that will be coming with you. Well, that's the best part is I've got a beautiful wife and, and uh, two beautiful daughters, and uh, they're very excited. Uh, one is a senior at uh, Southern Illinois, and the other one's a sophomore at Northern, so I've got the state of Illinois <laughs> covered, but uh, I guarantee you they'll be wearing Minnesota gear as soon as I can get it to them. Uh, they love their daddy, and I love them, and uh, uh, we're a close family, and uh, they're all very excited. Well, welcome to the Twin Cities. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. He's the new head football coach at the University of Minnesota, Jerry Kill.